The track is two miles long. Plenty of room for the beast to roar. And do a little showing off. A veteran driver pushes the tank to its limits. As we go through the curves and rough road, remember, this tank, thanks to the computer-controlled cannon, can hit a target the size of a pie plate from one and a half miles while moving at full speed. 40 miles an hour and it stops in one tank length. Can your vehicle do that? This rocks. The crew's in a van behind this and we go for the smoke screen. Both sides of the turret are fitted with six-barreled smoke grenades. That's them. I'll bet they're still coughing. The driver doesn't see out of a window. He's watching the world through three periscopes. He has a 120-degree field of view thanks to two scopes on either side and one that delivers a central image. Night vision? You bet. The middle periscope allows him to see in darkness, bad weather, and the battlefield smoke and dust. The track is pretty much flat, but what about a mission in the mountains? Hey, there's a 60 degree incline. Let's find out. About those tracks, get this. If you laid each track out flat, it would be 50 feet long. Up and down the ramp, and this baby's perfect. Now our driver gets really tricky. They call it Rock the Baby. Watch this. The gunner locks that 120 millimeter cannon on our camera lens. And no matter what the driver does, that gun stays locked on target. It's like a prize fighter taunting his opponent. Come on, show me what you got. Go ahead, take your best shot. Then say your prayers. This Abram passes with flying colors and is ready to report for duty.